Halo Infinite Sandbox lead leaves 343, and recent leaks show that Locke might still show up in Halo Infinite. Do you want to know more? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going, Halo fans? Kevin here once again, giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo and Happy Halo days. So today we got some cool news for you guys as well as like a bit of a sad news. So let's kind of just dive right into it. I don't want to waste any more of you guys' time. If you guys like these news and informational videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let's know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay updated with everything happening in Halo, well make sure you tap subscribe. So let's jump right into the video here. So some sad news today, guys, that one of the lead developers, the lead of the sandbox, basically the guy in charge of why all the weapons feel so good in Halo Infinite is leaving 343. He posted up on Twitter saying that today was his last day at 343 after nine years dedicating himself to the Halo franchise, saying that he's made the difficult decision to take on a new and exciting adventure. And he states, one that I truly believe is divine in origin and compels me and my family to take it. More on this soon. The opportunity is by creating a game studio called Midnight Society with some very notable people within the gaming community. With the co-founders of Robert Bowling, who used to be the community manager for Call of Duty, Dr. Disrespect, which uh, of course we all know who Dr. Disrespect is, and Quinn Del Hoyo make up the list of some of the co-founders of this development team. Their mission statement saying that we're focused on delivering the best, most community-focused online PvP multiplayer experience that the world has ever seen, and it all starts today. Stating that their new title is being built from the ground up on Unreal Engine 5. And saying that's gonna be open for day zero community as well as major content creators. So this could be really interesting to see like what kind of content creators decide to jump on board and play this game because whatever game that Dr. Disrespect, Quinn Del Hoyo, and Robert Bowling are throwing together, it's definitely gonna be something pretty unique and I think I'm very much excited about seeing what they can pull together. So you can kind of see why like maybe an opportunity like this is kind of like a once in a lifetime kind of thing for Quinn Del Hoyo. It would pull him away from making Halo games. Plus I'm pretty much sure that he's like accomplished everything he can with 343 right now but might not be really seeing much growth in his career so taking a leap forward into this new development studio. No word yet who is the new sandbox lead for 343. I will say it is a big shame to see him go, but this is a huge opportunity for him. Just like, I feel like Halo Infinite's weapon sandbox and just the equipment and how everything works together out of the box, it, from the developer's point of view, is like really well done. Like it plays super well. Everything is just kind of like minor adjustments that I would like to see changed for various weapons, which I do believe we're gonna be making a video about all the changes we would like to see with the sandbox. To kind of get some feedback for like a future patch, hopefully, maybe 343 will see it, we don't know. So as soon as we get some more information, who's the new sandbox lead, and also what Midnight Society will come up with for an online shooter, I'll let you guys know on this channel for sure. Next, we have a bit of leaked information about Locke possibly returning in Halo Infinite. Now, I'm sure that brings up a lot of questions going like, well, we see Locke's helmet on Hyperius. So how could we see Locke returning? Like if Locke lost his armor, most likely he's dead. Possible, yes. But we saw it within the campaign as well that some of the Spartans that you come across had their armor actually removed like Spartan Griffin. Possibly the same thing could have happened with Locke. The last time we saw Locke or knew of his location was on the UNSC Infinity and the Infinity uh, gets the clapping pretty much within the beginning of the campaign for Halo Infinite. Well, I'm not sure if it's out for good or if it's just down and out. But this Mega Constructs leak seems to suggest that Locke will be returning in Halo Infinite. I mean, this grunt dialogue even suggests that Locke got killed by Hyperius. That's Locke sure didn't know how to get ahead, which is why Hyperius I mean, that grunt tower sounds rather convincing that Locke is actually dead. But if you recall, we did see Locke's helmet on Hyperius during like the Mega Bloks leaks before the release of Halo Infinite, and community director Sketch did say this about revealing any kind of spoilers within the game. This was back in July 2nd of 2020 when we first started seeing those Hyperius Mega Constructs toy reveals. But he said, while we unfortunately had a toy leak earlier this year, Products appearing now are all expected and part of the roadmap. 
we wouldn't intentionally spoil key game details, so don't read too much into anything. Not every collectible is a literal tie-in to the game. I feel like I'm like that scene from Dumber Dumber where it's like, so you're telling me there's a chance. Maybe Locke is still alive. If it's not a spoiler showing Locke's helmet on Hyperius' shoulder, then possibly he could still be alive. And this Mega Constructs reveal seems to possibly leak out possible storytelling when it comes to Locke in Halo Infinite. Where we see within this Mega Constructs reveal that it actually just kind of does look like Locke from Halo Nightfall, which was that series that released before Halo 5. And this is like an exact like one-to-one -one replica basically of that outfit that he wore, which made me kind of go like, this isn't really much of a leak at all. But when you read the description, things get kind of interesting where it says, designed as he appears in Halo Infinite, which then like gets me scratching my head like, um, I guess Locke is showing up in Halo Infinite? It's never been confirmed or denied that Locke is dead or even alive. He's just kind of out there right now. And I think his story arc, whether it ended on the Infinity or whatnot or on Zeta Halo, I think we'll find that out through possible expansions of Halo Infinite storytelling. I think having Locke's story tied into the original story of Halo Infinite would just kind of muddy the waters and add just too much stuff going on. So I totally understand not having him in the vanilla campaign, but I mean, Mega Construct says as he shows up in Halo Infinite, Unless that's a typo from them showing that like, you know, they mix up instead of saying as he shows up in the Halo world, which Mega Constructs does do those types of toys of just like within the universe of Halo to make a toy about it. Maybe it's a typo, but I feel like that'd be a very deliberate description that you would be receiving from 343 to avoid any form of spoilers or anything like that. Um, it's just a confusing situation. Uh, I just wanted to bring this guy's attention that possibly we'll see Locke in Halo Infinite's campaign sometime soon. So if you guys are new to the channel and missed any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I can link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos we've been uploading daily about. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.